Uploading files to Claris FileMaker Cloud requires a copy of FileMaker Pro, and then you must be signed into that copy of FileMaker Pro with your Claris ID. When you open your copy of FileMaker Pro, select the File menu to check to see if you're already signed into your Claris ID account. Here, you can see that this copy is not logged in because we see the Sign In option visible. If you do not see the Sign In option under the File menu, then you should instead see a My Apps submenu, and under that menu, you'll see Sign Out of Claris ID. That would indicate that you already are signed in. In this case, we are not signed in, so I'll select Sign In to Claris ID. And this is where you'll sign in using the same Claris ID as you used for the Claris Customer Console. And now you can see that you have the My Apps option under the File menu, and you'll notice that you have the Sign Out option in that submenu. And now you'll want to open and log into your file, and then go to the File Manage Security option. If you check Advanced Settings and select Extended Privileges, your file will most likely already have the FM app extended privilege assigned since you downloaded this from your on-premise or FileMaker Cloud for AWS server. If not, you'll need to add that option to a privilege set with at least one active Claris ID account. In order to host on Claris FileMaker Cloud, the file must have account access for a Claris ID user or group. So if you dismiss that dialog, you'll be taken back to the Manage Security screen. This is where you will need to add your Claris ID as an account to access the file. Select the dropdown next to Authenticate Via and choose the Claris ID option. If you do not see that option, make sure you go back and sign in with the same Claris ID that you used when you set up your Claris FileMaker Cloud account. You will now be taken to a blank screen and you'll need to add a Claris ID account to the file in order to upload it. To do so, Select the New button in the bottom left-hand corner, and you will now see account information appear on the right side of the window. Select New Account, and you will see a drop-down of the groups or users that have already been set up on your Claris FileMaker Cloud account. You will at least see your Claris ID in this list, since the Claris ID associated with the Claris FileMaker Cloud account is automatically added as a team manager to your team. This is where you'll select all appropriate Claris IDs and see them added to your account list. And you'll want to select the appropriate privilege set for each account. In this case, I'll choose full access because I know it has the FM app extended privilege assigned to it, but you can choose whatever privilege set is appropriate for your use case. After you're done adding, select OK, and now your file is ready to upload. You'll go under the file menu and select Sharing, and Upload to Hosts. Select OK to close the file. And now you should see your Claris FileMaker Cloud instance name in the upper left-hand corner under FileMaker Cloud Teams. If not, you can select the plus sign and enter your Claris FileMaker Cloud host name as a new server. Or make sure that you're logged in with your Claris ID. And now you'll see your Claris FileMaker Cloud instance selected. You'll also see the file that you just had open in your Upload to Host list. If you need to upload more files as a batch, you can hit the Browse button and select as many as you need so you can upload them all at once. When you've selected all the files you want to upload, select the Upload button in the bottom right-hand corner. After the upload is complete, you can either leave the Open with FileMaker Pro checkbox selected or not, depending on whether or not you want to open the file right away. Then hit Done. After your file has uploaded, you can go back to the Claris Customer Console, and on the home page, you should see your file listed under the My Apps section if you scroll down to the bottom. And clicking on the app icon will present options for Open in FileMaker Pro, or even Open in FileMaker WebDirect if that was set up accordingly. Clicking this link will then open the file in FileMaker Pro. After taking a tour of the file when it's hosted on Claris FileMaker Cloud, you will likely find out that the fidelity between working with your file on Claris FileMaker Cloud 
versus your on-premise or FileMaker Cloud for AWS server will nearly be identical except for having added your Claris ID for access and some of the differences that you might see listed here. Feel free to consult the FileMaker knowledge base for more details on on-premise or FileMaker Cloud for AWS versus FileMaker Cloud. You may also want to consult the Claris knowledge base for tips on how to optimize your apps to get the most out of Claris FileMaker Cloud.